Good morning and welcome to the press, to Of the Press, the program where we review the major headlines on our national dailies. And joining me to do that this morning is Tracy Chappelle. So, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so, we're going to start off Of the Press this morning with the headlines making the news in the Punch newspaper. Unpaid salaries, 10,284 workers retire without pensions. That's the first headline in the Punch newspaper this morning. And January 12th date for illegal aliens. Deportation stands, says the federal government. And Benin begins censors of nationals in Nigeria. President Sikiks as ex-CDS Ogomudia warns of violent restructuring. And that is on page 7 in the Punch newspaper. Justice, Foreign Ministry's budget 5.6 billion Naira for constituency projects. Page 7 in the Punch newspaper. Five months after inauguration, senators yet to set up constituency offices. And you find that in page two of the Punch newspaper. And lawmakers show constituents people seek assistance for social events, says senators. Fire destroys 30 shops, goods in Lagos market. Page five in the Punch newspaper also. And Olanik Bekun, signing opposed social media hate speech bills and that you can find on page 10, also in the Punch newspaper, millions of Nigerians at risk of heat wave. Dangote oil refinery's key equipment arrives from China, and that is on page 35 in Punch. I spent 12 years in jail, lost my parents, but I achieved my dreams, says a lawyer. That is also on page 3 in the Punch newspaper. We are no longer safe following land grabbers' threat, sex generian couple. Page 4 and 5 in Punch. Article knocks Buhari for rising debt profile, and that you can find on the page seven in the Punch newspaper. And lastly, in the Punch this morning, social media bill short walk to totalitarianism, and I want my respect back, not belt, says Anthony Joshua, page forty-five of the Punch newspaper. Anything of interest there for you this morning? So oh yes, definitely. Yes. Um, especially when you wake up this morning and you see the cloud and the clouds are really clear. Yeah. Uh, the weather forecast has already told us that we should be getting geared up for heat waves. Heat waves. Um, yes. Uh, you're looking at situations where almost every week in week out, major markets in Nigeria, across Nigeria, from Onitsha, Anambra, we have already in Asaba, and again we're having again twice in less than a month in Lagos heat waves and fires that are already spoiling shops and businesses and market at this time of the day. You would want to expect that the fire service and you would want to expect that the public health administration bodies will be putting you know, plans in place, yes. um, giving better drills and all that. I passed through the fire service um, arrangement for Etiusa. That was last week. And you could still see that the tire for the fire uh, truck was not even... Let's just say it was run down. Yes. And when you're expecting that in this season there will be population explosion because of people that are going to be running through the markets, you're going to be expecting that because of the, um, the crowd, there's supposed to be extra bodies on ground teaching people and educating people that yo. You know, I was just going to come to that. The need for enlightenment and sensitization. Not everybody really understands what heat wave is all about. I exactly. mean, before they create a panic situation, the need for enlightenment and, and sensitization is key. And not so much of that we're hearing about oh, in, yeah. in the media. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because one thing that you know is, is hot, is hot. That's what they'll just say. Whether it's hot by pure water or carry block. But you forget that when the, it's, um, when the temperature rises, it's, um, there's a high tendency for electricity trick city to catch to activate so when many of the shoppers they'll just close up their shops because that's one of the reasons to one of the major reasons why a lot of small shops get burnt you see electrical appliances that are left um, uh, just there and maybe Nepal brings the light and before you know ignite and everything blows up so you have to be very conscious be conscious about the things around you environmental wise and of course um, electronical wise if okay. that's the right key so okay. I'll put that aside and I'll also talk about the social media bill my goodness I can't believe we're still talking That's about That's an ongoing it. concern as it is. It's really like mind-boggling. There was a um, there was a review that came out yesterday and then the daughter of Warari was like, I support this view simply because when it was 2016, I was bullied. And my mind is like, yo, dude, you were not bullied. I mean, that period, they were telling us that this is what the, um, um, the Asso Rock was going to look like, young, fine, fine girls that are going to be encouraging younger Nigerians to want to vote or be involved in politics. Although that has not been the case, at least yes. personally, but now you're seeing someone like that coming out to say, 
cancel it. It reminds me of Kim Jong-un. I mean, that's how South Korea started. When they were doing their closed-up arrangement in China, that's how they started. Yeah. If you don't say nothing now, and you start bringing out youths to come and be saying something that's supposed to be against what gives them freedom, you have to, you have to look at it and be like, I mean, it's not making sense. It's not <laughs> making sense, they swore. And from the Punch newspaper, let's take a look at the headlines. In the Nation newspaper this morning, on your Algon, PDP clash, you find out in page 42, and five killed in Lagos about a night accident. FRIC, it's reckless driving. In page four of the Nation newspaper, Hiana Chaw's goal sinks Everton, and striker ends goal drought, in page 47 in the Nation newspaper. And still in the headlines in the Nation's newspaper this morning, November's 314 billion naira gain reduces investors' loss to 1.65 trillion naira. Lagos explains cool resumption dates, page 6 in the Nation newspaper, and social media bill dangerous, that you can find in page 8. And then that's basically across every newspaper headlines this morning. And bank customers to present tax card for next month. Financial bill to widen tax net will go into effect after Buhari's assent. Aisha Buhari's rebuke, NGF defends governors, and that is on page four in the Nation newspaper. And $60 billion forex cash kept Naira stable for 29 months, says Emifili, and that is on page 10 in the Nation newspaper. Obasaki's secrets. From all available evidence, Obasaki does not want any form of peace. And that is in the Nation newspaper this morning. Um, amazingly, I think all the, all the papers this morning have the social media bill as, as an issue for them. And quickly we come to this day newspaper. The first headline making the news in this day newspaper, CBN's monetary policy leaves stock market by 204 billion naira in November. Page 9 in the this day newspaper. ICPC probes not East National Assembly members over diversion of constituency project funds. MBA's contractors should be queried, not lawmakers, says Ndume. Mm. Very interesting, and that is on page 9. In the this day this morning, I want to grab a copy and get full details of all of these headlines we're reading out to you of, on Off the Press. Opposition mounts against hate speech bill as editors, IPI, Olanik Bekun, Kik. Sponsor least dangers of non passage. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting that every other newspaper, every newspaper in Nigeria, they are taking this seriously. Initially, we thought that it was just going to be one of those things that will be swept under the rug, but I like the fact that different people from different work of life or works of life and strata and strata are beginning to see the importance. Uh, you start with the aid speech, it's a totalitarian arrangement. If you start stifling how people express, you stifle and get the um, options for new monetary policies or avenues for monies to come through into the nation will uh, come through. I mean, a lot of Nigerian youth are finding um, their feet now being entrepreneurs from yes. the internet. So if you start telling us these are the um, prerequisites for you to be, it, it becomes stifling because the gift of social media is also the blessing. It's free expression. But I also get to wonder about Obaseki because you see, Edo State is a state I would kind of dear. I kind of schooled there at a time and I kind of have people there. So when I see that the things that you, initially a body says that we don't like the godfatherisms we don't like this and now fast forward less than 10 years after yes. and then we are still turning around the same water or facing the same conundrum it makes me feel like are we living forward or backwards i feel like obaseku should should you know find a compromise and both parties should find a compromise because the people that suffer in the local adage they will be like when two elephants fight is the grass or the ants in between that suffers that's so, what they say isn't it Edo state is suffering right Right now because if they don't settle it they will get into vision 2020 still dancing around oh it's not my own you want it's my own you want and the people will not move forward education wise you can see the secondary schools there I passed through there like three months ago and their policies are down their kids are not getting their, um, their teachers are not getting paid and you, when you ask them you'll be like our government they fight so it can't work it can't okay. work it can't work and last with us this morning um, of the press we have the sports Sports. Let's complete sports and let's take a look at the headlines in the sports this morning. Leicester City 2, Everton 1. Here in Achor, call me Mr. Var. <laughs> hmm. And did he make 100th EPL starts? And the winner is Gunners United drop point yet again.
And still headlines in complete sports, Ronaldo rescues a point for Juventus and Watford in talks to re-sign Igalo. A Pochettino advice to not join Arsenal. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And Osime wants to end career at the Charleroi. And lastly, in complete sports this morning, Baka had no intention of re-signing him at Neymar. Now, this, this, is your, this is your forte. <laughs> Let's get talking sports this morning. <laughs> okay, let me start Interesting with the headlines. Yes, definitely. Yeah. This is one of the reasons why um, I love the news cycle. Um, one, one minute you are like bottom of the barrel and next thing you know you are top of the crop. So, good one for you, Nacho, because um, most Nigerians had already forgotten that he was a footballer. It was just one of all those punchlines in a bad joke. And you'd be like, ah, there was a boy that was starting good and then just like Drake said, started from the bottom now we're here uh, it was a good way to announce himself uh, one of the last uh, games and one of the key games for Leicester City especially when you're chasing a title or at least trying to put fire behind those who are trying to chase the title and it was a good way to secure number two position because we had all thought that that game was going to be a free fall for Everton and then you then see Everton rising to the plate. We saw he will be there trying to make his own counts but no one ever thought that it was going to be in actual. So good on him. I will move on to the Charlie Roy yes. where our young man Victor Simon, another Nigerian that's actually making things count. I was lucky enough to have an encounter or several encounters with him when he was a teenager and he's just 20 and then when you're telling me that you want to end your career in France I just feel like that's as um, the English people like to say that's puffy cock my young man. You're too young to start tying your destiny to <laughs> the French League on. A bigger stage is waiting for you. He has the qualities, save for a little bit of indiscipline that he has, to move on to big stages like Bayern Munchen. Even come to England and make the big box where the big box is. So I like that he's giving them loyalty. But let's face it, if he continues in this kind of form, if he, if he irons out a little bit of indiscipline in his game, because just the past three games he has already been in the faces of the referees and collected unnecessary yellow cards and cautions that he didn't really need, even in the Champions League yeah. and the French League one, I feel like this is a guy that actually could be the big man for this generation. We had generations that had coaches of the world, the Finidi judges, the Kanoan cause. Yeah, yeah, Kinis, he could be that. And it's a good one for him. But as for Ronaldo, <laughs> I can't call Ronaldo without smiling. The guy is a fine guy. Well, I can tell you this. Um, he's in the twilight stage of his career. It was a tale of two cities when you talk about Messi and Ronaldo over the weekend. Yeah. Messi was firing on all cylinders. He was in and about play. He was supporting a Suarez. He was whipping shots and he was supporting play, just like he would do as vintage Messi. Now we're seeing a different kind of Ronaldo. He was brought into Juventus to you know, help them get the Champions League. But he's not going to be the point man for them. But he's going to be the key man when it comes to situations such as this. They needed the point. They really needed the point. Because when you look at Germany, you see that bon Bayern Munchen is not top in the league. You look at Spanish La Liga, you see Bay um, um, ba Barcelona and Real Madrid dragging points. Unlikely people that would normally bottle in England, they are not topping the table with a massive 11 points. So for Juventus to secure the bag for Italy, they needed a thing like that to happen. It was last minute. He held his nerve and he did Ronaldo on them. He scored. Um, in Nigeria, we say a goal is a goal. But in truth, there are some goals that yeah, when pressure catch you, it will make the pipe to bust and it will make the fish bend. He could have always bottled it. But I like that it's going to be that court hero for them. The staying maintaining factor, the, the calmer, but it's not going to be the engine room where everything runs through anymore. Okay, quickly, quickly, let's put on um, Neymar resigning um, mm. to Baka and that there were really no intentions of, um, of that happening. What was your take on that? Uh, I just think, again, that's just blindsiding misdirection, as the magicians would like to call it, because, you know, the president of Barcelona, Gerard Batumi, has already said several times over that Neymar is their quality. He is a cult hero. He is going to get there. And the truth is, he is not signing a new contract at PSG. Mbappe was supposed to be resigning his contract for PSG, Paris Saint-Germain. But even Mbappe, one of the persons they are looking to for, to the future, or the present to lead them into the future, is saying that you I'm chilling first I think I'm going to go to Real Madrid and you think that Neymar that still has like 10 years or let's say because of the kind of position he plays as a winger and a striker as well he could get like seven years will not go back to a place that will make him a statue before he even retires he will go back it's just normal talk all right, I want to say thank you, Tracy Chappelle Swell, for joining me on Off the Press this morning. And that is all we can take this morning on Off the Press. Do join us 